Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Negroni. Classic cocktail from around the 1920s in Florence. Mm -hmm. Named after... Count Negroni? Mm. <laughs> Did you know I was going to do that? No. <laughs> You should have been able to figure out that I was going to do that. Why, why did you do that? You know what, what movie that that's from? No. Oh my gosh, really? No. All right, here's this. Usually I'm the one bringing up movies. Do you know who Frau Blucher, Frau Blucher is? Frau? No. Oh my gosh, you are so bad. This is, there's a great void in your movie education. Well, this I'm, is the line. Better catch up. Frau Blucher. <laughs> oh my gosh. Young Frankenstein. Oh, Young Frankenstein, yeah. How can you not know that? I Do you remember now? I watched that movie a long time ago. Okay. I bet this this is the, the line from the movie you remember, probably, in my mind. Oh, what big knockers. <laughs> Do you remember that line? I, it wouldn't surprise I, me that you that's the one you remembered. I barely remember that movie. This is named after Count Negroni, who yep. said, Make me an Americano, which is club soda, Campari, and sweet vermouth. But instead of the club soda, give me gin. And that's what this is, all right? It's a great cocktail to serve before dinner. A nice aperitif. Mm -hmm. um, as my uncle would say, it gets to the digestion flowing. <laughs> of course, he had one. He had drinks for after dinner, <laughs> during dinner. I guess I take after my uncle, uncle quite a bit. He must have had a hard time getting his digestion going then. <laughs> he was always going, believe me. He's the first person. Oh, my gosh. I should, he's dead, so I can say this. He would travel with a little... Um, you don't remember this, but they used to have little, um, like, banaca. I think it was banaca, breath, breath things in a little bottle. Oh, you yeah. just dab it on your tongue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that banaca? No, what was that? I don't know what it was. What is banaca? Is but that... they had, like, banaca spray. Yeah, so this was a little thing. So he carried a little thing called Bino, which was, like, anti-gas because he had <laughs> gas all the time. That's awful. I know. So my mom would say, if we didn't drink so much, Paul, you wouldn't be having all the gas, of course. <laughs> I don't know. We get off on the weirdest tangents here. All right. So this is traditionally served over ice. We like serving it um, in a chilled coupe glass. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a grown-up drink. It's not a frou-frou sissy drink. This is a serious drink. Mm -hmm. It tastes like you're drinking alcohol. But it's a great combination of the bitterness from the Campari, sweetness from the vermouth, and then kind of the spiciness from the gin. Mm -hmm. And the Plymouth gin is the one we recommend um, for this drink. Um, back in the day, the day, they would have used Cinzano as their sweet vermouth. But since this is what, what we have open, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to use. Exactly. Right? And it's simple. One and a half ounces of everything. All right? I will let go. you begin. You can do this in a cocktail shaker. We're going to use our mixing glass and just stir it with ice. It makes no difference. All right, one and a half ounces of the Campari. I have a neighbor who drinks this all the time, just straight over ice. Really? He's about 90, I don't know, two or three. <laughs> That's one and a half? Yep. And one and a half of... Sweet vermouth. Now vermouth is a grape-based liqueur, so it will oxidize. You've got to keep it corked in the refrigerator, and it will last about a month, one to three months. Yep. I always taste it. You know, we taste it when we first open it, and then we taste it as we go as it goes along. And when it starts tasting bad, we throw it out and open a new one. Right. Simple. And we always like it in different kinds because, you know, check out our Manhattan video. Yes. You know, you always get kind of a different flavor and everything like that. And it, it really makes the Manhattan fun because you get that different flavors. And I think we used to buy in our Manhattan too. Did we? Probably. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's stir that puppy. I'll stir it up. So this was Count Negrino. Yes. And, you know, mm. what, kind of, what kind of drink do you think Count Dracula had? Count Dracula? Do you know who Count Dracula's real name was? It was you know, um, it was based on a real person. Yeah. Was it Dracul? Yeah, Vlad Dracul. Okay. Vlad Dracul. I've been to his castle, you know. Have you? It's in Polarny. Romania? Romania. Mm -hmm. It's about 500 steps up there. I was going with my brother-in-law. We were both dying. 
And we get up there, and there's nobody around. And this guy comes out and says, five dollars. And he looked like he was, like, he lived, like, two blocks over, right? And I'm thinking, like, I think we just got shook down. <laughs> you know what kind of drink I think he drinks? He just hangs kind of, out outside a bar. And kind of Dracula? Yeah. Yeah. And he just comes up and he says, what were you drinking tonight? And then whatever they say, they're like, hmm, that sounds good. <laughs> then he drinks their blood. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Of course. That's his cocktail. Oh, right? no. Move along. Move along. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do that tonight. But, ooh, that sounds good. I'll try that. <laughs> All right. We're just going to pour this into our coupe glass and garnish with uh, a little orange wheel. And here you have your spicy, sweet, and bitter Negroni. Cheers. Cheers to the count. Enjoy. Ah. Mm -hmm.